Hey, this Minx here. Welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Hope you're doing fantastically well. This wonderful, bright morning. We have some mail. Tomorrow we're gathering to lunch at the annual Pelican Town... Blech. The highlight of the event is the communal potluck. Make sure you bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the events, and make sure you're on your best behaviour. Okay, Mayor. I do not know what a blech is, but um, I'm sure it's wonderful. And I'm sure we're going to have one of the best times in the whole wide world ever uh, when we go. What do you think, guys? Yeah! I'm glad you all agree. I'm glad you all sound so um, squeaky and enthusiastic, too, because I like to hear enthusiasm from you guys when I'm playing these games. You know? Yeah! See, so, yeah, that was you again. I hope you, hope you enjoyed that, um... That, um... That, that, that... Okay, anyway, let's, uh... Let's just keep going, shall we? Stardew Valley! Watering my plants, taking a dump on my plants, that it looks like. These should hopefully be grown tomorrow, and it means that I can take something great to the... for the, uh, for the potluck. Um, which should be amazing, hopefully. We'll put something good in, and everyone is gonna have a fucking fantastic time, and they'll give us money, or something. I don't know. It is the next day! And now... I have a ton of things. Let's have a look. It's the day of the what as well. Hopefully I've got a gold star grape here that I can... No, don't eat it. Jesus Christ. Such a waste. I was just like, oh, we want to eat everything. Okay, Minx. You need to just stop trying to eat everything and just chill the fuck out, okay? And we've got a gold star grape. That's going in the what And um, hopefully we're going to have a, uh, a fucking fantastic time there. I'm sure Leia will be there, and she won't talk to us, or barely acknowledge our presence again, and, you know, yeah, it, I'm sure she's going to crush our hopes and dreams, like she has all the previous times as well. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. Let's go anyway, let's go there. Right, here to the, bleh, here we go. Go, okay, hello. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. I guess that's what I need to do. Oh my god, that looks absolutely fucking revolting. Why can't I... I want to put this in. Okay, apparently I can... That looks absolutely fucking disgusting. If you bought something for the suit, climb the stairs on the side and throw it in. Okay, Marnie. Let's do that. Are you Marnie? I can't fucking remember. Right, there we go. You added the grape to the soup. Perfect, a gold star grape. Wonderful. This is, uh, everyone's happy. They've got, obviously got quite a nice spread. I just didn't want to eat the green shit that Marnie's putting her finger in. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. Blah, 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 blah. And we have, um... Hello. Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Uh, yes we do. Is that Leia? Oh, no, it's not. I thought Leia was dancing with someone else. I was actually going to stab someone. I mean, I was just going to, like, handle it maturely, okay? What else do we have? Everyone's just having a good time. There's Leia. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. I give you a salad right now, Leia, but my inventory appears to have vanished completely. What are you doing, Explorer? Oh, I'll be back here by the trees. The air's a lot cooler. I don't know why his voice changes on a regular basis, but you know. I must say, um... This does look all... I mean, I think I... This looks like a fucking this. I know I've been joking about sort of pagan gods, but that's like a fucking fertility symbol. That's like a dick. If you touch that six times with your penis, you'll have twenty-seven children. If you like shove the spike in your fucking vagina, then you'll have a million children as well. That music—it's too loud. Fuck off, George. Stop being such a complete cunt. Can I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Well, seeing as you could come down here pretty much every day, and there'd be like maybe one other person on the beach. But you've chosen to come down today when we're having a vomit fucking feast, or whatever that is. You know. Should we move forward with the what? The governor seems a little hungry. Yes, let's stop. If the governor dies from eating that, it's not my responsibility, you know. I only put one grape in. And it was a really good grape, okay? It was really good. Don't fucking die. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Governor just slumps dead. Like, on the floor. Like, face first into the green shit. Like, pfft. 
Well, Governor, would you do us the honour of tasting the soup? Of course, I'd be looking for the honour. Let's see what happens. <laughs> he just projectile vomits over the crowd, or he does like a little weird face. Ah, oh, it's a very pleasant stop. The produce of this valley never disappoints. We save the day. It was all our, was all our grape, by the way. Everyone else put fucking shit in. Like, I actually... I saw someone shit in it. You all did very well today. Great. Now, who else wants some soup? Well, I'm like, yeah, no. Not in a million fucking... I'd rather contract AIDS. The what was a success. Good thing I bought something tasty for the soup. Time to head home. I guess something bad can happen if the governor doesn't like the soup. He's like, demolish that valley. Kill all every kill everyone in it. Anyway, my new plan to get absolutely fucking loaded, guys, is to just plant an absolute shitload of corn and make bank. That's the plan. That is the plan. I'm also going to try to save up for a barn as well, so I can get other animals. There are two plans right now. Corn, barn, a barn made out of corn, and um, maybe, just maybe, I'll, uh, I'll grow some courgettes as well. Um, courgettes? What the fuck do you call them? Zucchinis, yeah. I'll grow some zucchinis as well, and then give them to Leia as like a sexually charged gift. Okay, anyway, what's up? Oh, this, is, this was blocked up before. What the fuck is this? I haven't been here before. Bath? Holy shit, it's like a like a bathhouse, I guess. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, it's not that cool. It looks pretty empty, actually. It's kind of creepily empty. Like, there's, no there's fuck all people here. What the fuck? I guess it's been, like, cut off for a while by the earth... I don't fucking... What causes that to happen? I guess the earthquakes will have freed this place. Still, this place is pretty cool. You know? What do we have here? It's Abigail's locker. It stinks pretty bad. Penny's locker. There's a frilly bathing suit inside. Well... Items for women. <gasps> do they mean... Do they mean... The item that you cannot speak the name of? Is that what they mean? I'm sure... I'm, I should have probably checked. But actually, I'm going to go back in there in a minute. But first... we go this way? Nope. It's in tunnel... In dead end. Tunnel dead end. This is kind of cool, though. It's nice that like new areas of the game are sort of gradually opening up. We have a train station... In general, it's, it's pretty cool. It's nice to see new areas open up, as I say. Can I, cut, I could probably cut down the trees and get more resources from here as well if my farm is uh, a little bare. Anyway, let me just double check in here again. So I, I must, maybe I missed something. Maybe there's like a reason to come here. Let's have a look. Well, right now I can't see one. Fucking great. Wonderful. Just absolutely wonderful. Anyway, that's the baths. Wonderful. Best best baths I've ever been to in my life. Pretty much the best bath ever, actually. So now we've got a better axe, we can cut these things down. And I think this lets us get hardwood. Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. Hardwood... I don't actually know what it's for. I think there's like there's definitely like um a bundle at the uh the town center that lets you um you know that lets you uh put that in for a reward, but there must be some other things. I'm assuming maybe some of the later construction needs some hardwood. I don't know, but um you know we'll figure it out eventually. Get as man rid of many of these fucking stumps as possible though. He's been clubbing up the farm for way too long. And now once and for all, I can get rid of them. Yeah, not so tough now, are you, Stump, huh? Take it! Take it. Take it. But seriously, like, um... It's kind of cool that you can gradually clear more and more stuff. Those big logs, I think I need, like, the next one up on the axe to get rid of as well, so... It's gonna take some time. But, uh... Okay, they're also... Getting struck by lightning seems like a really bad idea. I don't know how bad the lightning can be. People have been telling me to build a lightning rod, but I don't actually think I can at the moment. Your axe is seat, your axe is about to break the log. Fucking log. Thanks, it's so good. With this stupid fucking smug look on its face. 
Oh, I'm just a little log. Don't fuck off. Just fuck off, log. Okay. Stop ruining my farm. I'll evict you. I'll evict your whole family, and then you'll have nowhere to live. Huh? Huh? Is that what you want? Egg maker, hurry up and make some more fucking mayo, please. Not egg maker. Mayonnaise maker. Right. Everything's going good, I think. So I'm to go to bed. Night, Prexel. Hope you have a good sleep there by the cold fire. The cold, empty fire. Gradually making more money too, which is good. So I need six grand to build the barn. Jesus Christ, it's fucking raining again? Oh, this got some tomatoes, hot peppers, blueberries. I think this is the first blueberry harvest. Lovely. A new dawn, a new day, a new life for me. Oh, hi! Standing right outside my door. Hi, Rinks, I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know the empty cave over there is a little way to the west? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful. For both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment, and you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. What do you prefer? Um... Which one should I go for? I mean, like, mushrooms you can trip balls, but bats seem like a more viable, sort of, like, batty alternative, I feel. You know, like... Bats can hopefully turn us into Batman if we get bitten by one, and that would be pretty cool. And we could go around beating up Jojo Mart employees, break their necks and stuff. Bats. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. Shouldn't take any time at all? What the fuck? I thought this was like some complex thing. Hey kid, my throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need a pale ale. I guess we should take that quest. Jesus. Got these quests like do like little side missions and stuff. Reach the bottom of the mine and obviously the mayor's shorts. I know the mayor's shorts are in Marnie's room. We just need to be fucking friends with her enough so I can actually get in Marnie's room. Holy shit, my melons. Guys, I have melons! Guys! Look at my melons! There's some good looking melons. I fucking love melons. It's weird, actually, because in real life, like, I can't actually, like, eat barely any fruit. Like, I'm allergic to citrus, so that's obviously quite a serious problem when it comes to eating a large number of fruit. Not all fruit, but, you know, some. Quite a lot. Certain ones make me feel really, really shit and make my mouth swell up and stuff, so there you go. Anyway, the corn is on. Gonna have lots of tasty corn on the cob for summer and autumn. I think that crop lasts through autumn as well. You know, guys... I know you guys have never been outside here, and there's no way I'm ever letting you outside this building under any circumstances. So, um, I guess you're officially battery farm hence, um, you see. You'll never know what the outside world's like, because I'll keep you there forever. Forever, little chickens. There's no escape, little chickens. There's no escape at all. Anyway, um, they'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I get to upgrade. Tiller or rancher? I think tiller looks like the more, like, thing here. Animal products don't seem to be worth, like, anything in this game, as far as I can tell. I think they used to be, and they nerfed them, from what I understand. So crops, worth 10% more, seems like the best bet here. Look at that cow, by the way. Look at it, I want a fucking cow. Why haven't I got some fucking cows yet? It's a load of fucking horse shit. Well, it's a load of cow shit, anyway. Let's go tiller. We're making bank on those melons. Oh, another fresh, wonderful morning. Let's go and see what's going on outside. The copper bar. Upgrade our pickaxe is the next uh, item we're going to upgrade. Pickaxe, then I guess hoe. I don't really know what upgrading the hoe the hoe does, but you know we're gradually upgrading our uh, our items, and we have six grand, which means we can build a barn as well. It's all very exciting, isn't it? By the way, have you seen how shit this sprinkler is? Like, I found I got a sprinkler as like a reward for a fucking quest. And look, it's fucking shit. Look at it. 
eight. He does eight squares. You need like fucking a, an army of sprinklers to get anywhere with that, that fucking thing. Seriously, it's just a fucking, fucking pile of shit. I think there's like some mega sprinklers you can get later on, people have been saying, but um, I have not seen them yet, so you know. But seriously, fuck that. Eight, eight fucking squares. What the fuck's the point? Leia, how, how, how you doing? Um, I have a salad. Oh god, what the fuck? I have a salad for you. Leia, take the salad. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Good. I found some wild fruits. Great, great, great. Hey, Leia. Hey, Leia. I can do things with my tongue you wouldn't believe, Leia. She doesn't love me. She will one day. She'll learn. She'll learn. Anyway, I need to become friends with Marnie. Oh, fuck, of course Marnie isn't here. Marnie isn't here. She's fucking banging the mare somewhere. She spends all her fucking time, I don't know, wearing a massive strap on, having it buried in the mare's anus. That's all she fucking does. She does literally nothing else except fuck the mare as far as I can. She might be running a fucking animal shop, but she fucking can't because the fucking mare is too busy getting ringed by her strap on all the time. Just look after your fucking shop. Everyone in this town is soap. There's money. She just, she just got. Look at the fucking. Look at her face. She's just been banging the mare. Great. I'm glad you didn't really like the mayonnaise, Marnie. Fuck you. Maybe I'll give you a fucking purple dildo next time. You can shove that in the mare's ass and smoke it, huh? How about you do your fucking job? Of course, I can't give her the clam, can I? Whatever. Let's just get the fuck out of here. I think we need to put that in the collection thing anyway. Mail. Greetings, Minx. It's our pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of the Stardew Valley Tribune. Congratulations. We're impressed with your quick progress. Svd. Um, I, I've got some honey for my beehive here. There you go, wild honey. Can I just say that, um, I don't give a fuck about the local newspaper because I haven't even heard of it till this point, so I can only assume it's got a circulation of about three. That's like saying, uh, everyone in town um, is going to know who you are. Everyone in town does know who I am, because the population of this town is like 28 people. So, you know. It's fucking ridiculous. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Okay. Ice caves have been very good for giving up iron ore so far. Can I make it to floor? Making it to floor 50 is going to be really touch and go. I'm not sure I can do it on this run, unfortunately. I thought I was so close, but it looks like... Floor 50 is currently off limits for me. Especially as I can't find the fucking exit to this floor. All I need to do is just find some exits, but no, the game's like, fuck you. Finding exits is bad. You don't need exits. Who the fuck needs exits? Lots of iron ore, though. It's. Okay, so. Once I upgrade all the stuff to copper, I can upgrade to iron. Or do I. Can I just, like, bypass copper? Like, completely? Can I just go for iron? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the case or not. Obviously copper is a lot easier to come by than the iron still. Even though iron oh, it's getting more frequent. All I need to do is just I'm so close. But my energy is so low oh, for fuck these things give coal at least. Just fuck off all of you. Just all of you just fuck off and die. Every last one of you. I think I haven't got any coal. Did I get any coal out of that? Right, last energy bar. I wish they did more. I wish they did more. Come on, break those down. And just gotta find the exit. All I need is an exit. Just one. Just one precious little exit from this cave. And everything is gonna be super numb instead of being super bum. That's all it, that's all it needs. That's all, that's all I need. Okay. Um. Please. Oh no. This is bad. This is like fucking. There's gonna be a horde of bats coming. And I'm already exhausted. Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here now before the bats kill us. Just flee. Flee, flee, flee. What's this, sir? I haven't got anything else I can eat. Nothing else I can eat. Just get the fuck out of here. Bye. Hi, guys. I hope you've been enjoying these installments of Stardew Valley. If you have, remember to hit that like button. A lot of these are done post-commentary. Um, I often stream this game and then add in my commentary later on. Um, so, obviously, I want to be upfront about that. But I hope you found it entertaining nonetheless. I've been enjoying putting these episodes together for you. 
and uh, there'll be obviously more to come. We're getting through summer pretty quickly, and then we'll be moving on to the fall and winter. I don't know if I'm going to do a full, like, all the way through the game playthrough of it for the channel, but if you'd like to see it through to the end, obviously it's going to take a while, but, you know, I, I am enjoying playing it. So let me know what you think of the series so far, and if you'd like to see me get all the way up to the end of the third year, which I think is when Grandpa is meant to be returning from the grave or something like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. More of Stardew Valley to come as soon as I can, and uh, have a great day. Bye for now.